Hello. I, I, I'm giving you the opportunity to defend yourself. Uh, the, the topic of you, yeah, the topic of you has uh, arisen in chat. And oh, certain you're streaming right now, right? Yeah, certain okay, people me... who shall remain nameless have said eating out with you is a very interesting experience because you always try to order grilled cheese. Wait, what? Any I truth to these rumors? I heard the argument that I always bring a go board, which is true. I bring a go board everywhere, but grilled cheese? What? Th that's what I'm hearing. Um, I like grilled cheese. Uh, okay. It depends on the restaurant. Grilled cheese, if they have it, is normally my backup in case I don't like anything on the menu. I think I have. There's certain places that if I go, uh, mm -hmm. I try. This is this is something you can take. I take uh, a look at the kids menu. And look at that for my backup plan. Oh my god, I thought he was joking. So you really do look to the kids' menu. <laughs> yes, because the kids' menu actually has stuff that I don't. Really, I grew up liking. So if they have all this fancy food and stuff, I was. I don't like a lot of rich food because I don't eat it a lot. So and uh, so I look on the menu. If I don't see anything I like, I'll look to the kids' menu. Uh, wow. I mean, there's good food on the kids' menu. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, they would like to know how much fast food you eat normally. Um, when I'm in school, when mm -hmm. I'm in school, I eat it probably several times a week because I can't really eat anything else. I don't live in town. Okay. So yeah, I have kind of no other options but to eat fast food. And I Do can't you really cook for yourself? Uh, if I had a kitchen, I would. Normally, mm -hmm. I just, uh, something that I can make quick, doesn't dirty up a lot of dishes and stuff like that, is stuff that I cook for myself at home. So like frozen pizzas and ramen. Uh, if I had my own place, I would teach myself how to cook some basic stuff. Like, probably, like, chicken nuggets and, um, actual meals. Like, maybe hot dogs and chili. I love that. But, right now, I only cook really simple little things. And, um, most of the time, when I'm in school, I will eat out somewhere cheap and somewhere efficient. I'm actually so kind of confused by that, though, because I thought, like... Like even when you're in school, I thought like, even every dorm like has. I don't go to a dorm. Something not, to dorm. cook with. So where where do you stay that doesn't have like that doesn't have like any kind of like. Okay, stove I stay at home, right? But my my the campus is about an hour away from my home, so it's cheaper to drive hour every single day than it is to get a dorm. But the thing is, I have multiple classes, so I'm in town for hours on end. And it's too waste of a gas to go home, eat, and come back, right? So I have uh, okay. maybe an hour lunch break. I don't live on campus, so it's not like I have access to a kitchen. So I drive around town, and I, I see. set up a series of restaurants that I'm a fan of, fond of. And I try to just rotate between them. I don't want to get sick of a specific one, so I'll rotate from Taco Bell to Chick-fil-A to Wendy's. Uh, I I, gotcha. I've been avoiding McDonald's just because that started really getting to me. Mm. So I, uh, I have several restaurants. And sometimes when I treat myself to a meal, I'll actually go to a sit-down restaurant like a Mexican restaurant or uh, Logan's or something. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, to save on money, I'll uh, do fast food or Lunchables. I see. Oh, by the way, uh, yesterday when... Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, when you were streaming? Mm-hmm. Reason why... Are you on the stream right now, by the way? Right now? I'm not streaming. No, I do just, you uh, have the stream up? Yours, uh, yeah. I have it paused, but I have the chat up, yeah. Uh, okay, so essentially, uh, if you mute it and unpause it for a second, okay. you'll see that I'm currently. Uh, okay, you'll, can you actually see? What can you see on this oh, screen? Oh, the IGS stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go monitor capture instead and move that down over here. Yeah, so we were one down for a minute. Uh, we just ranked up to two down, which is great. You see, we have a ni lovely nine six ratio, because this server never alerts you when you are getting low on time. What it does is it like it flashes this like red border around your name. Because that's, I guess, where they expect you to be looking around your name and not on the board when you're in like a life and death situation with like 30 seconds left on your clock. Because uh, like they use the Canadian time over here. You know that, right? Uh, I did look at it and I did see the Canadian time, and I was really afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I lost my like first six games because <laughs> I kept losing on time over and over and over again. So it deranked me to one Q. And now wow. we're having to we're having to fight back up from one queue. We're 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 up, we're up, we're up to two down, but yeah, we still have to. We have we have a ways to go. We have a ways to go. 
which is why I suggested uh, in my uh, donation message yesterday that the, the, the time settings here are amazing. And you should definitely play there to see how you do. That sounds horrible. I hate Canadian time. Like, I do too. Passion. I do too. But IGS is weird. It's like... I think it'll be fun for streaming purposes though. I think almost everyone I've played has tried to play Kobayashi. Really? Yeah. That's like, actually even... good for me because I'm just now... Uh, well, I know this Kobayashi basically, right? But I'm starting to actually play it to practice it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this will be like the third opening that I've started really trying to use. I um, see. And uh, Stephanie Yin at Go Congress actually gave a nice lecture on it. And kind of inspired me to start playing it. She went over like all the variations, and then mm -hmm. I forgot like eighty percent of them. So I've been wanting to practice and then rewatch it. And I have a I've looked I have a book um, shows the latest variations and stuff. So uh, I've been I've been uh, looking at it. What is that? That's not Kobayashi. Yeah, this isn't Kobayashi, but this is a very this is like I guess him trying to do like a variation of it off of a different star point. You see, the minute I invaded. He tried mm -hmm. to go after just the influence to use there, so there was that. That's um, not good, though. Yeah, I, but you know, points for uh, points for trying, you know. <laughs> it uh, looks a lot better than it is. I think I see. just uh, I think I was teaching yesterday just over this about how the side is not bigger than the two corners. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Uh, uh, too annoying to go through my game records. It looks like. I have to go yeah, I'm planning to play on IGS and... next week actually, and uh, yeah. start having fun with that. Yeah, you you might lose on time a couple of times because that'll be that'll be interesting. Does it not have a beeping function at all? Not that I found. No, uh, you have to find a different client if you want like beeping and stuff. I'm just using their default one, and that's it's interesting. It's very interesting. Oh boy, this will be fun. Yeah. It'll be fun. So yeah, maybe you'll be fine. Maybe you'll be fine. I mean, what's weird though is they have Biyomi programmed in, but like not on the just like find opponent thing. This is all Canadian time, and there's like no way you to can't switch. Can customize the find opponent. Uh, no, I can customize like only like the, the time limit. Uh, one slash five, seven, ten, or fifteen, all twenty-five seven. So Bio or so Canadian time. But uh -huh. if I go down the list manually, and I say like challenge this random person. I can choose Japanese Bioyomi style. Mm hmm But I have to do that individually every person I channel. It's not built into the auto match to do that. If and I've I had no one actually time, I will probably just just start to manually challenge people if I just lose on time. Yeah, and I've had no one actually manually uh, or actually I accept the Japanese time so far. Uh-huh. And even looking down the list, I can see that everyone's doing uh, the Canadian time. Like, all of these time settings I can see are definitely Canadian. I don't think there's, like, anybody currently playing a Bioyomi uh, sale game right now. Wow. Fun stuff. Yeah. So, so enjoy that. What's the what's that ranking up at 6 p.m.? Uh, we're trying to get the, the hell out of one down, two down range and back up to where we should be. Is that going to be back to where we were. on IGS? Well, it turns out we just ranked up right now. I thought we were one more game away because it's every five. Uh huh. Um, okay, yeah, you're right. Nine, six is fifth. All right, yeah, that's that's even. So I thought it would take one more game to go up there, but no, we're good. We ranked up, so now we have five more games to go back up to we're done. Well, it says uh, on, I'm looking at your schedule. On, yeah, uh, I thought it was like one. up at IGS at 4 p.m. and then mm -hmm. ranking up at 6 p.m. Yeah, that was gonna be on IGS. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna take probably to six. Uh huh. But I don't know. Apparently, we got there early. Well, now you're at reviews, so. Mm hmm. Yeah, about to do that for the people who are watching. I say people. There's one person usually. We'll, we'll see if he has a game. One person. <laughs> well, there's one person that always has a game. I can like always rely on like that one person to like want a game review. Uh, but yeah, want to give you a chance to defend to defend yourself and he see what uh, your eating habits were like. Did you have a problem at Congress? Like find like something to eat? Uh, no, because they had pizza as a backup. So pizza was like always my backup. And they had grilled cheese, just on top of that. So, so you, I had, like, so I, okay, so, wow. 
Uh, actually, I had a, I ate very well there because they had just stereotypical American food. They had a, a cheeseburger that was there every day. They had grilled cheese, which was there every day. They had a pizza, which was there every day. Then they had the lunch specials, uh-huh. and uh, and so was I that, pretty much was that grilled had... cheese on top of pizza. It didn't like best of both worlds. <laughs> no. Were you in heaven? Oh man, no. The one in heaven was the lunch special that they had, which was Fritos and chili. Like, it's a southern delicacy, I guess. Um, a Frito Lale, I guess. Oh, but uh, it was Fritos and chili, and all the Asians would just not touch it. Because it just looked so unhealthy. Oh, and it had cheese as well. Fritos, chili, and cheese. I, I all, can't like, imagine it. why they wouldn't go near that. It was really funny, because I sat next to this Japanese pro. I have, like, half my plate full of this stuff, because mm-hmm. it's a, I had it in the South growing up. I love this stuff. And he had one scoop one spoon bite on his plate it was really funny nice <laughs> it was just the difference in styles of our food you can tell he's he's much healthier than i am yeah probably all right i'm gonna go review uh, right. i'll talk to you later all right have a good one yep you do all right apparently you guys were right apparently you guys were right pizza and uh and grilled cheese that is the way to Colossius' heart. If there are any female Go players in the audience, and you got a crush on Colossius, you know you know your window. Just offer him some uh, some grilled cheese or some pizza. Totally in there. Totally in there. <laughs>